it appears that all the left rhetoric has worn off. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Thursday. And, of course, uh, yeah, Thursday, it's actually November the 3rd. As of yesterday, of course, uh, Jerome Powell stepped on his putts once again, and the markets got ripped to the downside. And that, that selling continues this morning. Uh, we did have uh, ISM services, which was naturally a miss, as expected. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of a turnaround in these markets today, a, a rally. Uh, off of this oversold conditions. I mean, they obviously have gone down about 600 points, actually about 800 points or in, in, the, in the NASDAQ alone in the last uh, in the last day, eight hours of trading. We'll see. In the meantime, we are still long across the board, but I'm assuming it'll change soon if this continues. Uh, but it, it appears that, that all the rhetoric that we've been seeing and hearing and about the polling and all the bullshit out there is, is, is we're just seeing what's really happening and it appears that if I was right about China, Russia, and Saudi Arabia trying to manipulate, they're out of control as well, except for in the oil markets, which, of course, are getting hammered. So the indexes are all down pretty hard. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if we had a big rally later today, okay? Crude is getting hammered down back at about 80, under 88 uh, level. And we did reverse to the long side this morning down well lower, but down, anyways, still, we're probably still stuck a little bit. I don't know the exact price off the top of my head here. Uh, and then the notes and bonds are both lower, but they have made a little bit of a recovery and they've cut their losses about in half. Uh, but I, I expect again, the same thing to continue. They got a little bit oversold between yesterday and this morning. You're getting a bounce. Remember markets have a tendency to have a retracement back towards the mean at any given time. So I'm, I'm certainly not surprised by a little bit of rally. And again, really it is, it's just another selling opportunity. Uh, gold, and, gold is getting hammered, okay? And it's getting close to 1620. It's getting down to that, set, that 1600 level, which I think we're going to. We're still short both gold and silver, silver down as well. Uh, and as we look around the board at, at the rest of the world, and of course the dollar is up huge, Okay, uh, and we're short dollars. We're, we're long euros, which is obviously not a very friendly position at the moment. Bitcoin is flat and we're short. Uh, copper is lower and we're short. Uh, natural gas is lower and we are short. Uh, in the uh, grain markets, uh, corn, is, uh, corn is lower and we're, we're long. Soybeans are under pressure and we're short. Wheat, I apologize, soybeans we reversed this morning, my bad. We're now long soybeans. Uh, wheat is flat. It was down pretty good this morning, and it was a good buying opportunity, I thought, but we're still short it. Okay. Uh, in the meats, which we are long across the board, uh, fats, feeders, and hogs are eh, pretty much flattish. Uh, hogs are a slightly higher, feeders are slightly lower, and, and fats are dead flat. In the softs, cocoa is lower, we're long. Cotton is, is higher, we're short. Sugar is lower, we're short. OJ is higher, we're long. And coffee's getting crushed and we're short. So overall, not a bad picture. It's one of those things that we watch. And again, again, remember, I don't look at anything and particularly at one, at one moment. I think that the important thing is that you let the markets trade and depending on the time frame that you're trading is what you look for, okay? Uh, so be careful out there. It is still very thin. It is, it is still lacking a lot of liquidity. In the meantime, don't forget about our sponsors, which are scrolling down the side and our high school program on the bottom. And that's, of course, Trade Your Brokerage, who is sponsoring our, our live stream and our Vegas event live. So you get a discount if you have a, an account with them or open one. Okay, And, of course, CTG Capital Trading, who is our partner on many of our programs. And, of course, our high school program and football tonight. Yeah, what, a, what a crap game. Uh, but I would suspect that uh, Philadelphia will win and cover. Okay, 13 and a half. And I think the Astros will now take control of the series. Of course, Justin Verlander has not won a World Series game in his career. So it'd be interesting, but we do like the two favorites tonight, the Astros in baseball and the Philadelphia Eagles in football. Have a great day, everybody. Bubba's Day Update. We'll see you tomorrow.